Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny and this is my little friend Cooper. He's gonna give us a hand today, right Coopy? So today we're gonna be working on this. This is the steering column pipe. The one that it was on my car, it was caught around. Uh, the last owner tried to install the power conversion kit for the steering wheel. And we need to cut this, you know, cause the shaft is, it's shorter and we have the steering box in place. So we, we just found this one on eBay. It was uh, really rough. It's not perfect right now, but we just uh, sandblasted, uh, we prime it and paint it to match the color that is inside the car. And uh, we're gonna try to do the right way. So let's get into it. All right, guys, um, let's see what we can do here. So this piece right here is part of the column. Uh, the steering wheel goes on top of this or next to this, cause it's going this way. So this piece goes into the pipe and um, basically if you guys check other videos about the installation of this uh, conversion, the power steering conversion kit, uh, especially from CJ Pony Parts, they have a, they have a really good video. Uh, they set all these on a table with the shaft inside and the other shaft on the other side, try to assemble everything on the table to um, have an idea where the cut is going to be. But in my case, the shaft is already in the car. I tried to remove it to do that explanation on a table, but uh, we found another problem, which is something common doing classic cars. <laughs> so I tried to remove it and accidentally I strip the, um, the bolt that is holding this in place. So it's with an Allen. So I just stripped that. So to remove it is going to be a little a little difficult so i just said okay let's find another way to uh fix this problem if you check this piece um when the pipe is all the way in like that if you check the inside so the pipe is almost hitting this plate right here the whole assembly so basically it's at the same level of the bearing that it's inside this piece. So what I thought was, uh, if you check the videos of, of other people, especially the one that I uh, mentioned from CJ Pony Parts, they said that the shaft stick out of this piece like an uh, inch and three quarters. That's the measurement that we have here. And if you, if you check the pipe, it's against the plate, you will tell probably is the, at the same um, exact position of that, of, as that mark. I will say that it's a little bit uh, less than that because um, this piece right here is not, it's not totally flat. So the steering column is a little behind. I will say like um, 1 16 of an inch. And um, so we will, take, we will take care of that. And at the other end, we need to install the, um, the cap that is coming with the kit. And that cap got uh, a leap all the way around, probably 16 of an inch too. We need to, we need to, we need to um, take out that too, because we, we cannot hit the connector of the box. This one, this connector, we cannot hit that. So we need a gap like 1 16th of an inch here. Um, so what I will say is we're going to measure from the connector to the mark, from the connector like that, here, not here, here, not here, all the way uh, to the mark, and that will give us... Twenty-eight and a half inches, and I will say I'll, I'll we I'll be removing from that uh, like a quarter of an inch to compensate this and the cap at the bottom. So we will go with that measurement to cut the pipe, and um, let's see how it fits. Okay, so we will measure from here the way down. 
we have 28 and a half but we're gonna remove a quarter of an inch so we're gonna end it up with 28 and a quarter we'll mark that and I'm gonna use my miter saw to do this cut because I don't have a chop saw but I highly recommend that uh, I'm using a fine finish disc I use this disc to cut aluminum, which is a little softer than this. But I think we will be all right because I don't want to buy a chop saw just to do this cut. So let's do it. But first, safety. Mm -hmm. One more. Toopy. Oops. <laughs> Once again, to be safety first, man. All right. Let me see. Yeah, we're ready. Okay, let's do the cut. Sorry for my workbench. It's an F-150. It's not the fancy ones that we can get right now, brand new. But the tailgate works totally fine. Okay, we are right on the spot. So do this if you're if you're using this type of saw with this uh, disc, just do it super slow because this material is super hard. So let's see. Okay, we made it. Nice cut. All right, we got the steering column already cut. Um, this is the cap that I was talking about, you guys. The one that goes in the bottom, like this, to keep this shaft center. Um, and also we need to add a, a little screw we need to drill a hole and add the, that little screw to keep this cap in place. But you need to make sure that the, that screw is facing up. That way you can remove that easy if you need to remove the whole system anytime. So how do you know that? Um, basically, this opening right here is for your turning signal lever. That it goes here. So basically this piece goes facing this way like that and then you got the top so we will just do a mark there with anything that you get handy and let's do the hole and put the screw in Alright guys, we're ready to install the steering column um, pipe before to go into the car, remove the, the screw that we just put in. I just did that just for showing purposes, but we didn't install it without it because we're if, if you don't do that, um, the screw is going to hit the opening on the, fire, on the firewall. So we will remove it and then when everything is in place, we will go around and then from the engine bay, put the screw back in. So let's do it. We're gonna install this too around like that. That will help us to keep everything in place. Once we install it, we just tie this down and it will grab a piece of metal that is sticking out of a <clears throat> the firewall, a plate that it came with the kit. Ok, 
Okay, this is how it looks like from the outside. Remember, the screw goes facing up, otherwise you won't be able to remove it if you need to remove the column in the future. Now let's go to the inside. All right, we got everything in place. We found a little problem installing the column. Um, following those measurements that I thought, you know, that they were, they will work. Um, it was too long. The pipe, it was too long. So when I set everything in place, um, I put the steering wheel and the thread, it won't stick out. So I just remeasure everything and I found out that we need to do like an in inch more. So at the beginning, we said uh, 27 and a quarter, I mean 28 and a quarter, but it's gonna be 27 and a quarter because that was uh, like the difference between the how far was the shaft sticking out and how much we need to you know, have the threads outside of a steering wheel to lock it in place. So the final measurement for me, it was 27 and a quarter and it's fitting uh, perfect. No problems at all. Um, we got the steering wheel in place. We got good threads to secure that. So basically that was it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching us today. Um, I feel really good about the results of the steering column. Um, like I mentioned in another videos, I'm not a professional doing this, not a, you know, a restoration guy or anything like that. I'm just a car enthusiast. I love all classic cars. And um, I found the opportunity to get this car one day and I won't regret. Um, I'm enjoying the process. If you guys uh, do that too, please give us a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel, and just comment on whatever opinion you have. You can just let us know. Um, Cooper and I we will be more than happy to um, receive that feedback. And so I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much.